thankfully they're super supportive. Um, but it was a huge shock for all my classmates and everything else, but I've never looked back since then. So we are going to talk a little bit about what is the Marine Genome Project. So I got extremely frustrated with the fact that I have been working in dive shops since I was a little kid, had gained what I thought was a lot of experience in recreational diving, some scientific diving, working on international projects with different organizations, and getting frustrated with not knowing how to proceed to the next step. Who do I talk to? How do I go about it? How do I ask? Who do I go for, right? And asking bigger organizations, hey, I would like to participate. How do I do this? And getting ignored, or maybe come back later, ask us later, um, so and so forth. So naively, as a younger college age student, I was like, well, let's just do our own thing, and that way I get to do what I want to do. So me and a cave diving partner, Dave, sat down and we're like, let's figure out what's the hardest possible thing we can do. Let's do marine genetics. There's only a few institutions in the world that focus on marine genetics. They usually only focus on a few keystone species or certain projects. So why don't we do that? We could do that. That's easy. I have a background in biology. Um, well, was I wrong? But uh, we're learning. So the Marine Genome Project is a 501c3 nonprofit that focuses on marine conservation work utilizing marine genetics. So DNA from living organisms in the marine environment. And we can learn a lot of information about it, and we'll talk about that here in a second. We work on increasing our understanding of not only the oceans, but marine environments in general, underwater cave systems, marine estuaries, low-lying mangroves, anything else. Our planet is a blue planet and we're focusing on preserve that for future generations. We then also work on developing new technologies for smaller nonprofits and organizations to use for their own projects. The idea is, is there's so much work to be done, there's no possible way I can do it by myself or with a small team. The idea is, is we all have expertise in different things. I know nothing of geology. I'm a horrible <laughs> geologist. That's a rock, that's another rock, right? But I can help with the things that I know, which is biology and genetics. So we can give tools and share information to produce more work faster and better. And involve us as divers. We're all interested in our ocean, right? We step into the ocean with a childlike wonder for the environment. Might be the ocean, might be cave systems, might be wrecks, depending on what we're interested in. That's what drives us back into these environments and makes us want to dive for years on end. So we want to capture that. We work on decreasing the barriers of entry. Barriers of entry can look like lack of technology, equipment, expertise, um, or even just local knowledge. We want to be a part of the solution, and that big solution is involving citizen scientists and scientists from around the world in the projects that we do and helping on other projects provide data that can help make a cohesive plan for how to protect these environments. We want to go back into the ocean and the Galapagos and go see fish again. We want to come back to the wreck and see them covered in our strawberry anemones. We want to go back to the kelp forest and see the towering kelp forest. When I first got trained in California, they taught us how to crawl on top of the water over kelp forests. 